Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is Ben Daniel and welcome to my channel this day. I hope everybody's doing well, keeping well and doing fine, smelling good and staying healthy and staying strong. So today, as from the title and um, uh, oh yeah, before I get into it, I just want to welcome everybody and thanks in advance for watching this video. Today I'm going to be talking about my top seven monsoon fragrances designer edition i hardly do reviews now on designer fragrances it's a lot more on clones and inspired by alternatives but today i want to talk about this designer fragrances so i got a lot more but this is what i've been using for the past couple of days or probably just past couple of weeks now close to a month and uh, i got a lot more coming up so this is about the designer edition designer fragrances my top seven monsoon ones so i'm going to start with the first one over here let's get into it into it and this is from the house of Davidoff Davidoff the game intense very difficult fragrance to get I think I've seen this in the stores I'm not sure if that's the game the regular one or there's another game I think I forgot I did three of them I forgot the name of the third one this is the, the best one to my nose Dev, Davidoff the game intense it's woody it's ambery it's aromatic it's Got a lot of woods. There's some gin in it. I don't know how gin smells. That's what they say it has. And it's very strong in the patchouli. And it's an amazing monsoon fragrance over here. And it looks like casino chips. That's what it's supposed to be. Davidoff, the game intense. So I'll put that aside. The next one, I'm not going to do an in-depth note breakdown. Just what it is to my nose. Next one over here. I picked this up a couple of years ago. It's from the house of Salvatore Ferragamo F. Black. Per home. Here it is. Beautiful cap. I've just started using it a few weeks back, so that's why you can see that. This one, I've been using it for quite some time during the monsoon time. So this is fresh. It's kind of spicy. It's got a lot of vanilla and it's very aromatic. It's classified as an amber and warm, spicy, fresh, spicy fragrance with that tonka bean and that spiciness from the pepper. So I like it very much. F Black by Ferragamo. The third one is this. Woo, what a heavy hitter. This is a heavy hitter over here. <laughs> this is Polo, Ralph Lorenz Polo Supreme Leather. There's a Supreme Oud and a Supreme Cashmere, but this one is my favorite one of them all. It's very strong on the leather. It's very strong on the tonka bean, and it has that beautiful, oh, what an amazing combo of honey, that sweet honey. So it's warm, spicy, leathery, ambery, slight floral, but heavy on the leather, the tonka. And if you like honey and leather, you've got to get this, and it works extremely well. All these fragrances, I'll say in the end, work really well as designer fragrances. As an EDT, EDT, I think this is an Eau de Parfum, Supreme Leather Polo. All right, the fourth one I got you. Check this out, everybody. <laughs> Very difficult to get this. It's called Ferrari Amber Essence. This is the 2016 bottle. I picked this up, I think, in 2018, I think. I don't remember. But this is the 2016 edition. There is another one that uh, I think is a special one. Look at the cap over there. Prancing Horse Ferrari. This is not made by Ferrari. And if you do buy one of the Ferrari supercars, I don't think they'll give you this. <laughs> but maybe they do. And this is an other perfume. Other parfum, not perfume, parfum. It's amber, it's sweet, spicy, fresh, spicy. It's musky, it's warm, it's woody. It's got a lot of that musk and that amber vibe to it and cashmere wood. So it really works well during the monsoon period. And on my skin on my clothes, I get very good longevity. So if you ever get a chance to look into the Essence lineup from Ferrari, there are plenty more. Uh, look into it, yeah, if you ever get a chance to do that. And there's one I had before, it was called Oud Essence. I really did not like that one, but this is one of my favorite. I have another one, Leather Essence. I'll probably do a review on that some other time. So Amber Essence from Ferrari. The fifth one over here. Okay, let's bring this big guy out here. Okay, the big bottle. I don't understand why Isi Miyake always make caps this big. Just check out the size of that. It's really big. Okay, that's the standard look and feel. They design, they branding. All right, this is Le. Okay, let me just get that in focus here. Le de Isi Por Home Intense from Isi Miyake. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a mouthful over there of French. So it is a woody, smoky, 
very nice and green, spicy, ambery fragrance. Very odd combo of that spiciness, that incense. You get a lot of incense, that cardamom, and the green herbal vibe and the citruses. So I'm almost done with it. I think I got about 20 mil remaining. I've been using it a lot during the monsoon. So Lerda EC per home, intense. There you go. And the next one is considered a high-end branded one from a designer house and this is from the house of Guerlain. I know I used to pronounce it as Garlain, but it's Guerlain. And here it is. This is Le Instant de Guerlain au Extreme. <clears throat> Pardon my French. I'm just going to say it the way I want to say it. Le Instant de Guerlain au Extreme. That's it. Extreme, extreme, whatever. But this, <laughs> this is a heavy hitter. This is very close in terms of smell to Supreme Leather. I don't know why I, I get those vibes over there. Uh, got ads to skip them. All right, there you go. All right, this case you're wondering what's going on in the background over there. That video, that is Metal Gear Solid Delta, the new MGS game coming out from Konami, Snake Eater Delta. All right, look into it. Fine, so this is Le Instant, the Girl On, Oh Extreme, kind of similar to Supreme Leather because you get that sweet cacao feeling, cacao. And it's woody, it's warm, it's spicy, it's kind of floral. I get a heavy dose of the cacao, the patchouli, the jasmine, and there's a lot of sandalwood over here. So check that bottle out. I think there's another bottle from Guerlain, which is also Le Instant, which has a white border around this. This is the black one. I think this one is, uh, yeah, it's 75 mil Erda Perform. Le Instant de Guerlain, a uh, extra. Very good during the monsoon period time. And the last one, so that's over there, that's five, six, seven. This one is an old bottle and this is from the house of Azaro. I had to bring an Azaro. For those of you who don't know about my designer collection, I like Davidoff. I got a lot of Davidoff fragrances and a couple of more Azaro fragrances. For some reason I really like them. And I know they're very difficult to get and they don't perform too well these days, but this one really works well for me. This one is called Azaro Por Home Elixir. Check out the redness of that bottle. There's not much juice remaining. There's about 20 mil, I think about 20 or 25 mil from 100 mil EDT over here. So this is a beautiful looking bottle. It's very old. I think I got this back in 2018, so it's kind of like... Kind of like rusting in the corner, so like changing the color, discoloration going on over there. But, oh, yeah, kind of like getting old. I really have to use this. I do have a backup bottle. I liked it so much, I got a secondary backup bottle of this one. So Azaro Por Home Elixir is vanilla. It's fruity. Yeah, you can have a lot of fruits during monsoon time. It's got a lot of amber. It's warm, fresh, spicy, and it's got that beautiful woody vibe in the break, in the in the dry down. So that's a breakdown. Citruses, lavender, vanilla, and it's also got some rhubarb. Even though rhubarb is not listed at an, as a note over there, but it has that rhubarb vibe. So it is very sweet, fruity, ambery, and woody fragrance over here. So that's it, folks. These are my top seven monsoon designer fragrances and i just want to get the set up over here if i can <laughs> there you go i hope that you can look into this some of them are very difficult to get i know they are and um if you do get a chance to get decants or probably some kind of way to get this online you could look into it so there you go Thanks a lot in advance for uh, watching this video. It's pretty short to you. I just wanted to bring out this collection. The next one I'm going to be doing will be for clones because I guess a lot more people are interested in the clone fragrances than they are in the designer fragrances because some of these can be pretty expensive to get. So that's so look at it. My favorite out of them, honestly, if I had to break down my top three favorite or my first two would be Lernstein, Gardolon, and Supreme Leather. And third and fourth. The rest are okay, yeah, but these two, obviously, the Girl On and Polo Supreme Leather. So look into it, and I'll see you. When I see you, I've got more reviews coming up, and take care, and have a great day ahead of you. All right, bye-bye, folks.